Hey, it's Sizzling Popcorn, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the new DLSS support and the new graphic settings within DCS World 2.9 Open Beta. Let's get started. So to change the graphic settings and to take advantage of the DLSS in CS World 2.9 Open Beta, go up here to the, uh, the cog wheel, which is your options system. And this is all your graphic settings. Uh, monitors, one screen, so I use my middle screen. I do have four running at uh, 1440. Uh, the bottom three are at 144 megahertz is the refresh rate. And then the top one is just at 60. Because originally this this rig was built for uh, for iRacing. So I, I did need triple monitors. And then the top one was more so my stats. But now when, when I'm in DCS world, I, I would like to try eventually at some point three screens see how that works because I've used that in Microsoft Flight Simulator in the early days but uh, it, it wasn't a native uh, three screens it was using uh, Nvidia surround uh, I would rather not use Nvidia surround just because when you're not playing a the game then it's it's a big hassle turning that on and off but uh, but back to this I use the one screen out of the four and then I do have a RTX uh, 4090. My uh, my CPU is a uh, AMD, but I, I, I can't remember what it is. It, it's it's like it is uh, the top of the line. You, you can see in the description uh, below. But yeah, I just want to let you know. So it is top end, but I also do have four monitors. So. You might put, you could put the same settings. You can get better FPS. You don't have the same specs as me. It's a, like a, a two or 3000 RTX graphics card. Well, obviously we, the, that, that will change, but we'll, we'll talk about the uh, the 20 and 30 series. I don't know whether, whether it's the comparable on the AMD side for graphics card. But so we'll take a look at that. The other thing is, is if you are in VR, unfortunately, I, I can't help you there because I, I, I don't use uh, VR at all. I use a Toby Eye tracker and that works uh, perfectly for me. Uh, so here are my settings. So this is what I've set. And then I'll show you what the presets on high, the TLDR here. <laughs> The uh, too long didn't read. I I just went for the gusto, my custom settings, these settings versus the high presets because there was really no FPS change and it was just a little bit more uh, GPU usage and I actually had better, uh, I guess, like sight area, uh, like uh, details uh, a lot further out. So uh, let's just go over this. So resolution of the cockpit displays uh, 1024 every frame uh, upscaling is DLSS. And then here you've got the you've got the choice of a quality balance performance or ultra performance. So if you have a 3000 uh, card, you could uh, put this at balance or performance or ultra performance. And again, it, it all depends on your system. Like you, you can definitely take these and run with them, but it, they might not work exactly for you. you. You'll definitely have to tinker with them. Uh, sharpening. They definitely say that uh, actually in the in the notes, the release notes, they say go with uh, 0 0.6 for sharpening and the 0.6 actually no they they suggest 0.5 i saw a video uh from spud Nucker. he was suggesting 0.6 and i looked at the two and uh, i would go with 0.6 and they do recommend between uh 
1.8 and 1.0 FSR. So other than DLSS, you have FSR and NIS. Textures, put at uh, high, terrain, high. Uh, shadows at high. Uh, flat shadow blur, I put that on. Secondary shadows on. Triple S on. Visibility range, extreme. If we look at the preset, uh, the high preset, it's on high. So uh, visibility range, I, I've got a, a much, much wider range to to get uh, some details. So extreme civilian traffic, uh, high clouds, ultra water looks spectacular at high SSAO. I've got that on SSLR. That's on. So SSAO, quality of real-time screen space, ambient occlusion. So moderate to large uh, GPU uh, hit. So you could turn this off if you've got a 2,000, 3,000 uh, card. Or even, even if you're in the 4,000, uh, maybe your CPU can't perform as good. Like, you'll, you'll have to, like I said, take your with this uh, yourself but uh with a high-end pc this all on uh, sslr so that's the quality of the local reflections within the screen space uh lens effects i have i've got none you could put dirt flare dirt and flare but i i just put none heat blur i've got that at high motion blur is off uh, depth, uh, bokeh, and then color grading. This is uh, brand new. This uh, can't see it right now, but I'll, I'll go into the uh, I'll go into like a instant mission, instant action mission, and then you'll be able to see uh, the the changes in colors. But uh, that we'll take a look at later. Uh, clutter grass, I've got that max force visibility 100%. Force detail factors, that's max. Scenery detail factor, max. Uh, preload radius. Okay, so default was 60 kilometers. I've increased it to 100. Chimney smoke, uh, 5. Gamma, I've brought that down to 1.9. External field of view. That all depends on your monitor, but I've got 78. The LOD switch factor. So this, uh, the, the higher the value, the more details in the distance. So I've increased that to 1.5. And then uh, anisotropic filtering, 16x. Terrain object shadows, uh, just default. Uh, cockpit global illumination off. And then uh, rain droplets, that's on. Yeah, full screen, that's good. When we take a look at the high preset, what I've done with the uh, the in my testing was off and just TAA, and a heat blur was down to low. A depth of field off. Uh, clutter and grass at a thousand. Uh, gamma was 2.2. So in the anisotropic filtering, 8x. What I found is my GPU usage went down about like 5-10%, but I was still hitting 170 to 180 FPS. So I, uh, to me, I would rather be able to see further out and use a little bit more GPU, but it's like, oh, it, it, hey, if I leave that GPU up, we're gonna like not use that extra five, 10%. Uh, it's like, what? what's the point? So I, I'm like, might as well, I, like I'm not even maxing. I'm not, I'm not having any stutters or anything like that. 
But again, if you're on a 20 or 30 uh, series uh, RTX uh, GPU, you'll definitely want to, to bring the, the, the settings down. Overall, I am very well pleased with the new uh, graphic settings and the DLSS support. Uh, what I found is that uh, in the distance, I used to get a some flickering and that is now gone. And I also have a, a crisper image. And I really do like the color grading options that we have now right in the sim. So we can pretty much set the mood for whichever era we're flying in, whether it's modern era or if it's uh, Cold War or if it's even uh, World War II. It's, uh, or you can even go post-apocalyptic and go with more of the, the red lighting and uh, you know, maybe there's a attack of the zombies or something. Let me know in the comment section below, how are you enjoying the new DLSS support and the graphic settings? Uh, have you changed anything? What Would you recommend me changing anything? Let me know in the comment section below. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.